Good morning, kids. I am so excited to tell you about one of my favorite Bible stories from the Bible, and it's super exciting too. And I'm gonna do a fun activity with it, and I thought maybe you could do it with me while you're at home. You only need four items, and you can find them in your kitchen. The first item is a shallow dish. I'm using a pie plate. The second one is some water, pepper, and some liquid dish soap. This is the type you would find in your sink to wash your dishes. So if you want, you can pause the video right now, get the four items, and come back and do it with me. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Exodus. God's people were living in the land of Egypt. They were at, living as slaves. They were slaves under a person called the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh was like the king of Egypt. God's people had been living as slaves for 400 years, and this was not a happy time for them. They kept crying out to God to let them to be free. So God sent his special friend and servant named Moses. Moses came to help set his people free. So Moses went to the Pharaoh and told them, God wants you to set my people free. Do you know what the Pharaoh said to Moses? He said, no way, I wanna keep my people here. They're working very hard. So God had a plan for this. His plan was to get Pharaoh to let them go free. And he sent them a plague. A plague is something really bad that happens. And not only did God send one of these plagues, God sent 10 plagues. And every single time, Pharaoh said, nope, I'm not letting you guys free until the very last plague. Finally, Pharaoh said, you, Moses, can take these people and you can leave Egypt. So Moses got all of God's people together. They packed up all of their items and they started leaving the land of Egypt. If you want to know more about the 10 plagues, you can read it in Exodus chapter 7 through 11. You can read that with your family. They're very interesting, all 10 plagues. So Moses and the people were leaving Egypt, and as they were traveling, they came across a large body of water that was called the Red Sea. And during this time they were traveling, Pharaoh changed his mind. He said, I don't want those people to go. I want them to stay here and be my slaves. So Pharaoh got his army together. Now, God's people are kind of stuck between the Red Sea and Pharaoh's army. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your water and I want you to pour it into your plate, just enough that it covers the bottom of the dish. God's people were very scared. They were scared either they were going to get tossed into the sea or Pharaoh's army was going to force them to go back to Egypt to be a slave. Now I want you to take your pepper shaker and I want you to shake it all over the top of the water. Take your finger and put it in the water. What happens? Nothing. God's people were scared at that moment. And so they called out to Moses, what should we do? Today's Bible verse comes from Exodus 14, verse 13 and 14, and it says, Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today will never be seen again. The Lord will fight with you. You need only to be still. So what Moses did is he raised his hands up in the air. Will you raise your hands up in the air? And once Moses did that, a miracle happened, kids. The Red Sea parted and a walkway appeared in the middle of the sea. And I'm talking about that the land became dry. The Bible tells us that God's people walked across the Red Sea, across dry land. So now what I want you to do is take a little bit of that liquid soap, put it on your finger, and then put it in your dish. Do you see what happened? Just like the Red Sea parted for God's people, 
the pepper parted in our thing of water. Isn't that cool? God's people crossed across the Red Sea, just like I said, in dry land. And as Pharaoh's army is coming down against them, they keep walking and they're still, and they trust in God that God's going to protect them. When all of God's people got across the Red Sea, Pharaoh's army kept pursuing them, and they were pursuing them right in the middle of the Red Sea. Once Moses got to the other side, he raised his arms up again. Will you raise your arms with me again? And once he did that, the water pushed back and covered the entire army of Pharaoh, and not one of them survived. All of God's people were protected, and all of the enemies were eliminated. I love this story because it tells us so much about how God is going to protect us when there are times that we are scared. God's people were scared, and God protected them. Would you guys fold your hands and pray with me? God, thank you for saving the Israelites. Thank you for showing us in big ways and small ways that you are powerful. Remind us that when we feel afraid or confused, you protect us. In Jesus' name, amen. Kids, I would love for you to do this activity with some of your friends in your neighborhood, and then you can tell them the story about how God saved his people in the land of Egypt. Have a good day.